If you have been following these videos or have been playing around with FPC, you will probably already be aware that each of the 32 pads can hold a sample that can be triggered by that pad. However, you may not be aware that you can actually load multiple samples onto each pad, a technique known as layering, more specifically, velocity layering. You may be asking yourself, why would one want multiple samples on each pad? Well, if you are to take a listen to any piece of a drum kit, like a snare for example, you may notice that the total characteristics of that piece will change depending on how hard it was struck. This can be recreated digitally using velocity layering. Here I have selected a snare pad that holds several layers. You can see this by the stack of samples in the middle of the interface. To audition the samples, select the layer number and then click on the sample window. You can hear how the top layer sample has a softer, warmer tone that would be generated by a softer hit. While the second layer has more body and resembles the sound of a snare that has been hit harder. This allows us to have softer drum sounds when MIDI notes are played with low velocity and harder drum sounds when played with harder velocities. To the right of the stack are the velocity mapping sliders. These sliders will determine which velocities will play which sample. Here as we have two samples, we have two sliders. We need to set the range of velocities that will trigger this sample. By default, this pad has a sample set to be triggered by any velocities within 0 to 64, and the second sample will be triggered by velocities 65 to 128. We can test this using the test pad range above the velocity mapping sliders. Clicking on the lower half of the bar, you can see that the first sample is triggered. This is indicated by the blue bar on the top of the slider. The LED will light up when the velocity range is played. Now as I go up to the second half of the test pad, you can see the second sample being played. Now for this pad, I want the louder snare to only sound if I play velocities within the range of 110 to 128. So I'll move the second sample's velocity mapping slider to start at 110. This created a gap from the end of the first slider to the start of the second. Thus any velocities played within this range will trigger nothing. Thus I need to move the end of the first slider up to the starting point of the second slider. Now when I only play the uppermost velocities, will the louder sample be heard? An easier way however is to use the lock layers options so that when I move one slider, the slider next to it is adjusted at the same time. A quick way to set up mapping is to use the spread even function. This will do some basic math and evenly split all the layers so that each are at an even length and are automatically mapped to their respective velocity ranges. Each sample layer also has its own volume panning and tune control. If you wish to add a new layer in order to import a sample, simply click on the create button. Use the delete button to remove a selected layer. Use the up and down arrows to move the selected layer up or down. Use velocity mapping to build natural sounding kits in no time. FL Studio, the fastest way from your brain to your speakers.